Hi, Vertical Magazine. We want to show you the uh, EC135. We're going to do a walk around here to show you what it's all about, and I'll be uh, your tour guide to show you what's all going on. So if you'll follow me this way, let's go over to the pilot side, which on an EC135, you fly it on the right side. And this helicopter is used for the Department of Defense in Georgia, and also search and rescue for um, Sheriff's Department, FEMA, and whoever might be lost or whoever needs help. So we're, this is the pilot side. It's a twin engine. We have turbine mecha engines in it. We have all the latest dials and switches to be able to go find grandma or wherever we need to go. Then we're going to open up the back here. We can pull seats out or leave them in. When we're doing rescue, these seats pop out right away. These are utility seats. And sometimes uh, going to look for someone will pretty much take both seats out and then we'll have the flight officer in the back with the door back to uh, pick someone up or uh, drop somebody off. We have a four bladed system and this this helicopter is also the Airbus EC-135 and we have a Fanastron. As you notice our paint job is the Fort Rucker military paint job for the Army which is like a chromatic type of paint. I don't know the exact term exactly what they call it. It's all secret. You have your big fins at high speeds that keep us halfway straight so uh, we're not going out of control. And here's your Fanastron. So this is what controls, of course, you know, the pedals left and right, and these flex back and forth as the pedal turns. So let's now, let's go underneath where we load patients, cargo, or when we're doing uh, relief for catastrophes or whatever might go on. This is where we shove supplies in or we pull a seat and load uh, people that are hurt or injured. So this all opens up. Of course, we're at a trade show, so everyone's bag is hiding in here, which is okay. And this helicopter is used for flight testing for RMCI, which is a hum system. Their home system's right here, and this keeps track of me from Huntsville, Alabama, all the way on our flight, and can predict anything that's gonna go wrong with the helicopter before the pilots see it. And we can come around the other side if you want, you can duck under or whatever. It's the same thing on this side as the other side. Co-pilot up here. And with the uh, RMCI system, they have meters that are on the engine, the transmission, the shaft, the tail rotor, or the Fanastron fan, and we're downlinked by satellite with this device right here. This triggers back all the way to Huntsville, Alabama, and they can watch my tracking in flight no matter where I am and give me a warning if one of the bearings or something doesn't look good or something's out of balance and can notify the crew before things go wrong. So that's one thing nice I think about RMCI is it's sort of that insurance or the health of the helicopter we call it. So it's a whole new system that's getting put on a lot of helicopters, medevac helicopters, but it was mainly used in the war for them to know what was gonna go wrong so they didn't have to go down in a, a bad territory. So anyway, that's it on the EC-135. Hopefully you have a good day and thank you Vertical.